I don't know. This turn turn is a bit weird to me. Spade is pretty much irrelevant. I don't mind having a spade. He shouldn't be bluffing the spade, so it's good for us to have a spade. I don't know. King queen, ace queen, ace ten still. Ten nine, ten eight. They're gonna make the Yolo call here. I just I just don't think you would bet so small with a set on overpay on the turn. I almost timed out. I <laughs> I didn't have the time to click all in. So I just clicked on auto race. <laughs> Good old min three bet with seven big blinds. <laughs> Let's see how they're interpreted. Oh, what are we gonna have here, huh? They probably don't expect me to be an ace king off. Four is good. I uh, think I'm going to race this. Wouldn't do that a lot on lower stakes. Um, and just very often call. But I think there's a chance on the river I can get him off. We could draw as as I can fold out so much equity behind. So I'm just going to bluff this river for sure. That's a great river. It's gonna. If he doesn't hit the king in clubs, I think we're gonna have lots of fold equity here. I'm just gonna jam this. Ah, we block a lot of his barrels, king jack hearts, ace jack hearts that he could be bluffing with, or like king jack off with a jack and hearts. So I'm just gonna be. We can have a lot of perceived draws. Jack. And exactly that, when he has a value hand, it would be a disaster if there's an action killer and we don't get the full stack. I think I'm gonna bet small against Queen Jack, Queen 10, which I don't think is gonna be folding. And also, if he has Ace Jack, Ace 10, I lose less compared to checking, by ha checking back and calling the river. Mm. Yeah, I lose the minimum there because I would have certainly called the river. Also, very important rule number two if you're losing, try to reduce your losses. No matter if you're on a huge, huge downswing, or if you have a hand like this, always try to think about, okay, we can get some value, but we're certainly going to be losing a decent amount of the time, All right? And this is what you need to then try to figure out, okay, how am I gonna lose the least? Oh. Amazing board with the aces. I think, oh, I mean, in a Sunday May and he's jamming King, Queen, King, Jack. Actually, that's probably the best outcome here. King, Jack, yeah. Let's see what you got, my friend. I'll put the trigger with your, I guess he's having tens or jacks. All right, not gonna beat that. Also gonna reshuffle this. It's a really nice hand against the button range that is still open equal to white. I mean, this time he seems to have it. Deuce. Oh, that's a pretty bad flop to begin with. Oh, 8-9. Eight, 8-9 nine. Eight, nine deuce is helping us. 10 is not helping us. Good luck. Yeah, pocket 3 is very easy rejam. Kind of scary that he opens with that stack size, but yeah, there's nothing you can do. Ace, queen off. Oh, 77%. And we're back in the game. I said, oh, we're gonna be race calling. Very, very standard. You essentially bet very small on this board. 
for the most part. I'm gonna be race calling nines here in the 1k Sunny High Roller. What? 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 That worked out. He check raises small on the flop. Ah, we can't fold ace high and a flash draw. Um, here we make two pair on the river, we go all in. And he, yeah, he folds and we check it back. <laughs> I can honestly on the turn, I had a feeling that he's trying to milk me. You know? <clears throat> Or against this sizing, I think we have to fold. Or was it a misclick? Did he want to size 3,500? I mean, eight, nine, seven, nine. They're actually a bunch of draws. I think we can call and then play a river. Uh, that's pretty bad. Oh yeah, seven, eight, seven, nine. <laughs> but I don't think we can call there. Jack deals off for three big blinds. We're going to be calling. Oh, drawing that GG. Wait, we even make this straight. <laughs> yeah, I think the turn call is is fine. I actually think he misclicked, and then on the river he has a he has a really. <clears throat> I mean, we could consider calling, but the problem I see is that the hands he's bluffing with, like seven eight off, nine eight off, nine seven off, he's bluffing there with a nine in spades, right? So I would definitely consider sometimes calling because we get a really good price but just in that particular instance we had a really bad blocker here with a with a queen nine off he's bluffing nine eight off nine in spades nine seven off nine in spades uh exactly like seven eight off like these type of combos right these bottom gut shot hands i i honestly think he misclicked on um, the turn but we just have too much equity against that. So of course, we're not just hoping to hit our straight, but we would also go call down on a nine or if we hit our queen, or of course we still have um, two of the straight. And sometimes if let's say it's a, it's a low card, like deuce and spades or whatever, I mean, not with a nine in spades, but let's say if I have queen nine, queen in spades, I definitely see myself um, just flicking in the, the queen hand call, but just having the nine in spades, just so bad, um, but yeah. Definitely f happy with that second place. All right, when I pick a sizing where I can jam turns, I think this should actually be enough. I can definitely jam on this. Every jams, we're all in. All right, good luck us. Hmm. I mean, most of Ben's postal blinds not working at average by 15. That's absolute, absolute dog shit. All right, it's Rick suited. We are all in. Oh, we need to hold it. Oh, that's brutal. All right, GG. We actually really find a table bubble this one. Probably start betting this. Um, we could have good equity against any drag, and we gain some forward equity against an eight on turns. Feels like a nine four suited. Um, it's really pretty bad for him, and we could potentially make him forward ace eight, king eight suited, queen eight suited on the turn. I would check an eight very frequently, but just think that 
Also, queen tens, ace nines, ace tens are gonna be calling. I think just overall, pretty nice bet. Mm, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna bluff the turn to make him fold an eight, and then just check rivers. I'm not gonna bluff against the jack on the river. That's actually pretty good. You can still have ace ten, ace nine spades, king nine spades, queen nine spades. <laughs> just says fucking quads. <laughs> oh dear god. Hey sis, let's go. Seven. <laughs> uh, this is also what I would call a bad beat. Sunday main, probably one of the softest tournaments, right? I don't know anyone on this table. And then to my direct left with 800 players left, I have Ole Shemian. <laughs> I'll call you. Turn, even though we have the gut shot, it's gonna get pretty dicey. The bet's very small. Uh, we might be able to call. I mean, he's gonna be ra uh, raising a lot of offsuited crap. So we might actually have a hand that even wants to call the river. Like he's gonna raise queen three off, or he's either gonna have ace king off, ace jack off with the jack in spades, or he's gonna have all these crappy hands that are just... Yeah, I think I might call this river. I think it's just so easy to have 9-4 off with a 9 in spades, king 3 off with a king in spades. Like, this is what his strategy is supposed to be on this river. So I'm actually going to be calling this. And I think he's going to be bluffing all of these. It's either ace-king, ace-queen, ace-jack, or like maybe 4-5 in a heart. And all of these bluffs. I'm going to be calling this. Yeah, ace-king. <clears throat> That's what I thought. Well played. But actually, I, th I really think that if, if he gets there with queen three, queen and queen and spades, jack three, all these kind of fans, he's gonna be, um, he's going to, going to do exactly the same. So yeah, I'm not too mad about that call. This is one of these spots, right, where also big pot. So I'm trying to think it through. What are his potential bluffs? What are his values? So I can never, I don't, I don't think he bets ace king without a spade. That's more on the turn. If he wants to pot control, like he, usually he would bet bigger on the turn, in my opinion. So then it's going to be those hands and knowing also what, what is supposed, what is he supposed to raise preflop? So it's going to be like 9-4 off, 9-3 off. He's not supposed to be raising a lot of suited combos because then I'm going to be having a lot of limb jams. So then I'm going to put him on a bunch of bluffs. Do I consider Ole Shemion being capable to pull off these bluffs? Yes, I think so. Um, otherwise, I would just fold the turn very often and give him enough combos that he could be bluffing with. Is it a bluff? Is it a board that provides a lot of natural bluffs for him? So his specific hands. Is it easy for him? Well, I have a flush draw blocker on the turn. I have a flush blocker. I want to keep bluffing the turn and I want to pull the trigger on the river. Is this possible? Yes, certainly it is. So that's why I ended up calling other bots, other spots. They might struggle to find enough bluffs because there are not a lot of natural bluffs possible on this on this board. So this is just how I approach it. I don't freak out. I, I keep it rational. I'm certainly also wrong with my cards a decent amount of the time. And I just think where ranges are really wide from this perspective. If I have, let's say, on this board, king high with a backdoor flush, I'm going to be calling the flop. I'm going to have enough folds on the river. And jack 10 at 10-9 10 is certainly probably over calling a little bit. But again, I'm going with my read. I think if he wakes up with 7-5 off, 4-5 off, all these hands, he's probably raising with a certain frequency preflop. Jack 3 off, queen 3 off, all these kind of hands. 9-4 off, 9-5 off, off-suited king x, off-suited queen x, off-suited jack x. And he's going to have a spade with those very often. Comparing that with his potential value hands, it's not a lot. It's like ace king, king and spades, ace queen, queen and spades, ace jack, jack and spades. And that's not as many combos as his potential bluffs. We don't we only need to be right every third time, roughly, a little bit less. Almost 18 big blinds into 20 big blinds. And that's why I ended up calling. I think on average I will at least have 35. I also want to give me give myself a little gap that I'm not gonna be making break-even calls. So that's why I ended up making this call.
Definitely I'm calling here. I mean, you can still be on King Queen, Ace Queen, three jams. We have to fold. That's what suck. I don't know. This turn turn is a bit weird to me. Spade is pretty much irrelevant. I don't mind having a spade. He shouldn't be bluffing the spade, so it's good for us to have a spade. I don't know, king queen, ace queen, ace ten still. Ten nine, ten eight. I think I'm gonna make the Yolo call here. I just I just don't think you would bet so small with a set on overpay on the turn. King ten, yeah. Kinda kinda was off with the sizings there, I think. <clears throat> There's a similar spot against Ole Shemian, right? Where it's so easy to have a shitload of bluffs and his main slow play is going to be Queen 10 that is choosing that exact line. And we have two 10s, so that is very, very um, unlikely for him then to have two 10s. And I don't block, I really don't want to block the Queen X hands. So I think 10s is actually a much better call than let's say Queen Jack. Wow, wow. And it's pretty rough today with these really strong hands. I mean, people are really trying to punt it into me. Uh, that was a very, very sad, sad story up here, but at least we got a jamming hand blind for his blind. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Almost dead on the flop. Uh, we bubbled, GG. All right, we've got a hand we can go in with. Fortunately, our bounty is relatively big, kind of sucks. I'm gonna get caught quite light here. Jesus, can I please jam ace track sometimes? Uh, GG. Oh, was sad. That was a very sad Sunday. It was a great pleasure being back on stream tonight. If I have any um, final tables on, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to be streaming it. I wish you guys a great night. Unfortunately, so far, losing session today. That's it. And I wish you guys a good night. See you next time.